Good morning, writers. It's Wednesday. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Um, today in writing, we are going to use the time to review some of the things that we've already been working on. We are not going to learn any new content today. So for my friends who maybe missed a day or two over the past week or so, please use today to go back to the other videos and slides to see what you might have missed. And for those of you who have been keeping up every day, thumbs up, great job. And for you guys, I want you to use today to go back and practice some of the skills that we've been learning. So as a reminder, for the past few days, we've been working on two different things. One thing we've been working on is creating an adventure map or an idea map for your character. Um, for different ideas for stories that you're going to be writing um, your different series books about, right? So as a reminder, here is my map. Junior, my character's in the middle, and around him are all my ideas of possible stories I might write. The missing pizza, a visit from his mean aunt, Junior goes to New York City to find the best pizza in the world, and uh, Junior loses his pizza shirt. Those are some of the ideas I came up with. Besides that... We have also been working on ways to bring our stories to life, right? We don't want to write boring stories. We want our readers to be really excited and to have lots of details so they can make a movie in their head while they're reading our stories. So the two ways that we've learned so far to bring our stories to life is to unfreeze people in our stories. And the way we can do that is by making them move or making them talk, right? And then yesterday... The next thing that we learned is to tell our story in small steps, right? We just don't want to say, I woke up one day, I went to the park, and then I went home, the end. That's a very boring story. But if you stretch your story out and tell it in small steps, giving lots of details, it makes it more exciting for your reader. All right, first grade writers, now it's your turn. Go practice these skills. And again, as a reminder for anyone who might have missed the actual lessons on these, please go back and watch those videos. There's much more important information in there. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Have a good day.